that one um, I started doing the series and started racing the main events. So there's water, but it ain't no picnic. So try and keep up. I'm Nick T and we're on what they call Dead Man's Trail. Now, for those who don't do it, that was mountain biking. But for Dirtheads, that was extreme off-roading. It's not a sport, it's an attitude. Mountain biking has been with us for a long, long time now. I mean, even my old man's got a mountain bike. But there's something going on that's splitting the pack and leaving all those guys with bad sneakers and bike racks in the parks. This is it, hell mountain biking. Whether you do it for the rush of the competition, it changes forever the meaning of let's go for a bike ride. It's sort of really scary when you actually just start, and you're sort of just on the start line and just take off and it's sort of really freaky, but once you actually start doing it, you sort of really get into it. And it's, yeah, it's a real rush. There's two styles of riding, cross country and downhill. The cross country riders ride up and down hills, through creeks, over logs, all the time racing others. Downhill, well that's what it sounds like. Downhill, as fast as you can. Up to 60, 70k an hour on some runs. So, you know, it's fairly quick down to maybe 30 on tight single track trees and, and all the rest. So, you know, it just depends where the ski resorts are normally faster runs. The sport will be demonstrated in Atlanta at the Olympics and Cairns will play host to a League of the World Cup. So by the year 2000, the sport will be an official Olympic event. Now, the cool thing about that is that just about anyone with the guts to fly down a mountain on a bike can have a go. You can get started, you know, you use a three, four hundred dollar bike and you can you can ride cross country and do downhill. It's just a few things you might want to change from your normal bike with some tires and eventually, you know, suspension for downhill. But now we get you know you get a lot of people starting off with a normal bike, but if you get up to the level where we are, you get sponsorships, you know, you help out. Maybe we'll go through a bike a year. And all you need after the bike is some bush. The Australian Mountain Bike Association can let you know where the closest bush tracks are where you live. Yeah, a lot of people ask the question, you know, why do you shave your legs? So, mainly it's for when you fall off. If you get, you know, you get scabs and whatever, they heal easy and it's easy to clean. All right, let's talk more dirt. Let's do it. 